quarterback. Um, yeah. you know, obviously, uh, pretty good numbers. What do you see for Pettit? Um, he's running the offense really well. You know, they want to be a fast tempo um, or up tempo, <coughs> change tempo, multiple, you know, multiple set offense, and he does that really well. I mean, you've got to manage the game pretty well when you do that. I think he's doing that really well. Um, you know, he's, he's electric on his feet. You know, he, he's going to uh, give, give, he gives people problems when, he, when he's out on the perimeter, you know. Um, uh, makes really good decisions out there, so we're, we're, we, we like him. We think he's, he's part of the reasons why they're, they're having some success. And, it, oh, okay. and, and Dylan, I know he had kind of broke out against Kansas, 151 yards rushing. How, when you look at him, what makes him so tough to stop? Well, he just, he's a big dude. You know, he's, he's six foot, 250 pounds, and he, can, and he runs like a deer. So, you know, when, when people misfit him or arm tackle him, he's going to have success. And, you know, and that, that's what you, you clearly see on the film. You know, trying to get, get his big body on, on DBs um, and on the perimeter, and if he gets out and moves, he can make big plays. Two games in, how do you think Malik Dixon has played in safety? Really good. Yeah, we're really, we're really happy about his production. Obviously, we're looking um, you know, for all of our guys to, to improve every, uh, every day, every week. But, yeah, we're really pleased with them. Um, you weren't here at the time, but when, when we first got here, they kind of used to make Sam line back and we kind of moved back to state. And that's when he started his college career. Is there any kind of, you know, with the pass rush kind of struggling, any kind of thought maybe to walk him up more, kind of use him? Does he give you ability to do that? Play over the course of the game. What's your concerns there? Uh, what area do you think they're strengthened? Is there any players you think you really need to step up there? Yeah, uh, they, we think they're playing pretty well. I thought they were pretty stout. I played one of the best games um, against Iowa. That was a pretty, uh, pretty well coached offensive line. I thought we did a pretty good, good job up front. Um, but we just, just same, same things that we tell them every day, just improve, just a half percent better every day. Just going through the process with them. They, they should, you should see that kind of trajectory from them in a game by game. For doing like I know we've talked about it in the past about winning the turnover battle. I know that's always one of your keys with Everett Boston College. You look at it, there are six interceptions and they win the turnover battle most weeks. Um, Rutgers, you know, you haven't done it. Um, you know, how do you get more, you know, fumbles gained and interceptions? I mean, how, you know, did you spend a bye week doing that? And you know, how did that improve? Yeah, we, we, we spend um, an incredible amount of time on turnovers. Sometimes they come in bunches, you know. I'm, I mean, I've been on a team where, were, where you didn't get any for a couple of games, and all of a sudden you get, you know, three or four or five, and you get on a good run. You know, it just, it, it just, that, that's just how it happens, you know. Um, but, yeah, we're always we're always attacking the football, whether it's in the air or on the ground. Um, that, that's always been an emphasis. Um, you know, we're just chopping wood there. We're, you know, Hopefully, you know, in future games, you'll start seeing that uh, come to fruition. But, um, yeah, uh, I would, I would did a great job with uh, holding on to the ball. You know, we weren't able to, to get to it, so um, you know, hats off. Any other questions? Great. Great.